there, only one can be here, only one, and welcome to a brand new series called Top to Flop. That's it, Top to Flop, and this is going to be the pilot episode, no pun intended. Look at that, I love that. It, this literally is the pilot episode because it's the first time I'm going to do it. This character, I don't have that many of it, but still I can show you which is the best and the worst in my collection. But then there will be other characters I will use in this series, which I have lots of variations variations of, I'm talking Boba Fett, I'm talking Vader, I'm talking Stormtrooper, I'm talking R2-D2, there are a few of the ones I really want to get into this series, maybe even of TIE Fighter Pilots, I've got a fair few of them, and it's always a bonus if I've got some of the vintage 80s to go with it, I've not got many of that, but I do have a few vintage 80s, like with this guy, I do have a vintage 80 ATAT driver, which I'm going to include in this, but I put them in order of best to worst, so... So that's what I decided to call this series. I don't know if anyone else has ever called a series top to flop. I've heard of first to worst. Uh -huh. <coughs> Bosk's bounty. <coughs> Luke Ness monster. <coughs> Mother people as well out there. But top to flop. Start on the best, then we'll go backwards. I'll show you now what the very best is. And it's this one here. I love talking about this guy. And I've talked about him a lot recently. It is the five way Rebels line attack driver. Brilliant, and it makes me sick to my stomach that they've never done anything with this sculpt. Come on, Hasbro. Well, they have actually. They've done a few Tie, tie Fighter pilots out of him, but come on. And it, just imagine this in TVC. I'm gonna keep banging this goddamn drum until they do it, man. Until they do it. Look at that with the at in the background. And look at that. I couldn't frame that any better. But this is a brilliant figure. Imagine him fully articulated. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm happy f with this, just like that. You know, I don't know how much he goes for in the secondary market nowadays, but that is the best sculpt that they could ever do for the Attack Driver. And it's fantastic. It is, I suppose it gives it a little bit of extra charm, the fact that it's 5 POA, but what personally as a TVC collector, carded and loose, I'd love this card back, the classic 80s card back to come back with a kick-ass figure, timeless, definitive, because that could potentially be the definitive one. And that is it. That's number one. That's the top of the top of the pops, man. Next up. It is this. This one came with the Attack you see behind there, which is not Legacy Collection. A lot of people think it's Legacy, as did I. For many years, I called it the Legacy Attack. It's actually the Shadows of the Dark Side line, but it's not a million miles away from the uh, Legacy Collection, I suppose. The packaging is very similar. This one is an articulated guy. He, oh no, he's got swivel. He's got, yeah, swivel, swivel elbows, you see, but he's got a ball jointed head and he has ball jointed knees. But he looks good. Um, this one stands out a bit more than the other two I have, which are just here and here. Which I'll talk to you about them and why I've got them in the same row in a minute. But um, it's a good looking one. His, his uh, badge is a lot stronger, very reminiscent of the same cog you saw on the vintage 80s one. So it's a slightly different design, isn't it? It was all relative to the Empire, but um, apart from the ball joint, that's all he can do really. And I always have these guys stood behind their back. And if I bring in these two here, these two are identical. Uh, I just want to have them in the line just to show that I have them. But also, again, this is the pilot episode, ladies and gentlemen. Clutching at straws here. But the thing is, um, th he's got quite a stiff head, this one. But this figure is really reminiscent of the special action figure set vintage collection at that driver. So they've not single carded him, just to reiterate. I really hope they do. But they did bring him out in the three pack TVC special action figure set and that figure helmet wise was very similar to the TIE Fighter pilot because it was a removable helmet and I can show you some images of that figure I sadly don't own it yeah this figure was in the Legacy Lost line and no it is slightly different it's, it's not a million miles away it's of that ilk isn't it but the eyes look a lot different than his eyes look more like Stormtrooper here maybe it's just because he's black it's hard to see the yeah, mm hmm no. No, it's not a million miles away, but uh, this guy, anyway, the point is this guy has a removable helmet. This is from the Legacy Lost line, but it was the same figure, mas o menos, more or less, that you saw in TVC. And I think maybe you might be able to get an Athat driver just like that, you'll have to let me know. So these three here are all pretty much the same, except for the paint apps on this one. A lot more different and these two here I think this was Saga collection but they're still good at -ats. the reason I've got two of them out I used to have these these two guys in the at, -at over there but um, now I have the vintage 80s at, at I've got two of them you see so I have them 
in there because these look slightly better on the shelves because they look a bit more screen accurate, should we say. And also, I'll tell you something, man. The vintage 80s one is a delight to have in there. Do you know why? Because when I open the cockpit, <laughs> take a deep smell, man, and the uh, chemicals, the pump. Let's go and talk about it. Now, here he is. This is next in the line. It is the vintage 80s Atat drive. A lot of sentiment for this figure. The smell that these make, though, is just, I don't know if it's because it's my first ever vintage figure that I have ever had as a kid but it, they make an incredible smell, a very petroleum-y, oily, very, very specific smell. I tell you what, it brings back a flood of memories. Speaking of the TIE Fighter pilot, never had that as a kid and everyone keeps going on about, I don't know, strawberries or something? I, I wouldn't know, I do have one actually, but I've never sniffed it. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the Attack Driver. This is a brilliant figure, I used to love this as a kid. And I'm really sorry to put it in last, well, second to last place, but um, it's only because of the fact that it's just as, though it has that nostalgic charm, visually it hasn't aged as well, or has lost its screen accuracy appeal, should we say. But when I was a kid, I loved this figure because I used to think that the eyes, you know, the lenses on the helmet were better. I still do actually, I think better than the, uh, the Stormtrooper they made. I used, in fact, I used to pretend this was a Stormtrooper when I was a kid. Got so many, Similar aspects to uh, you know, these things there, left and right. The mouthpiece, I thought, was better. The eyes were slightly wider, but still, it's a classic. This isn't the figure I had as a kid in the 80s. This is one I acquired um, in later years, around 2016, I believe. And as I say, just because they're kind of cool to have inside there, I do. These do look good in there, but you know, when they, when they shut up in the cockpit, you can't see them on the shelf. So I've got them all in a group those three and that brings us to last place and it's this one here this just is just the worst top to flop this one was a little bit of a flop you know that whole line suffered with some weird looking figures you know they put them on steroids almost but uh, the helmet is just nowhere near I mean, this one's why this beats it you know i just can't see it, it they've almost taken a little bit of creative license with this this is a figure that was made pre rebels and stuff like that you know what i mean when they distorted certain looks the elongated people's heads like dooku's head in clone wars is nothing like how he looked in reality um and so on and even the rebels stormtroopers looked a bit weird this is almost like a character out of an animated series but it's not it's just the way they designed him for power of the force 2 but it's still pretty cool i bought this as an adult i never got this back in say 97 or whatever um, some some people would have had this as kids, you know what I mean? It'll have a lot of nostalgic value like this one does to me now. So there you are. There's the flop. And we go up in order, ladies and gentlemen, these three. And we're considering these as part of what would be the TVC one as well, a special action figure set one. But one hopes, speaking of TVC, that when they make the ultimate, it will look like that. You're watching Hasbro. Don't forget this. Again, this is the Rebels attack driver. When I say Rebels, this isn't made to look like the Rebels cartoon, but it was in that line of figures. In that line, you had two card backs. You had, it said Star Wars Rebels with the kind of like the Sabine Wren graffiti. But then if it just had Star Wars without Rebels underneath it, it was just a normal Saga Legends line. You know what I mean? Where they would have characters like this from Empire Strikes Back. But that again, ladies and gentlemen, is my top. Atat's driver, love it. And that is it. That was the pilot episode. Not only was it the first, the pilot, but it's also looking at the pilot, the at at pilot or driver, whatever you want to say. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>